Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, the bigger man from Kansas, the bigger man from Kansas. Yes indeed. Yes indeed, man. We finally got a break in the weather. And uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a nice cool 73 degrees out here this morning with a little bit of rain. And uh, man, I couldn't, I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to get the pack out this morning. So uh, off to the wood we went, man, you know, got them on the ground out here and everything. Got a few pups running out there with them, you know, and uh, seeing if I can get them in shape. But uh, they seem to be having fun. Don't look like they lost too much because I've been running them around the Ponte Rosa. But, uh, you know, they still enjoy that ride to the woods and, uh, and getting out here and, uh, you know, and working it out uh, and having some different rabbits to run, see, so... It's a lot different than running around here and running around, running around the farm. You know, they like to come back to the shop too much, so, so I bring them out here. And uh, boy, I tell you what, they, they ain't holding back this morning. So, uh, so we're going to be out here for a little while, have a little fun, you know, see how long they can last. And... Uh, <clears throat> Just want to say hi to everybody. We're getting back in the groove now. When the weather breaks, we start to move. So, look like we got a break in the weather. It's going to cool off, getting down into the 60s at night. And, uh, and everything. And, uh, and uh, you know, 60s, 50s, I mean, that's good weather for the next morning. You get up and uh, you can take them out. So, so we'll be, uh, we be touching base with y'all throughout the year. The bigger man. And it's Pat getting ready to get to get rolling from Kansas. Love y'all. All right, we're gonna get some footage now on these hounds. They're on the bottom side of this hill. Things cooling off a little bit. They had a good run going. Still got a little rust. We get them right though. We get them right. We get them right. Yes, indeed. My biggest uh, uh, objective uh, during these last couple of months is to get these pups in tune. Uh, they, they, for the most part, they're already hunting, but they're not in tune with this pack yet. So. I'm trying to tune them up, get them into the pack, and see if they can keep up. All that good stuff, you know. And, uh, wow, that's a big old print there, man. That's a big old deer print right there. Hmm. Yeah, let's we'll see. I'm sure it's good to be back out here this morning, though. I'll take that. Praise the Lord for that, man. Oh, chief sounding off right there. A lot of ticks out here. Spreading the dogs down before and after. I use a good flea and tick spray. Uh, I purchased it at uh, Orsland Farm Supply. I'll show y'all when I get back to the truck what I use. It worked great. Keep keep 
keep the ticks off. And every once in a while I dip them. I dip them. Been a lot of rabbit out here this year. I see a lot of rabbit droppings all over the place. So it looks like the rabbit population is going to be pretty good this winter. Beagle Man. Louisiana Beagle Man. Running them in Kansas. Running them in Kansas, baby. Sound like he crossed the street. We're gonna get on the other side here in a minute to see if he doubles back. I'm gonna go around because I don't feel like beating through these bushes, man. Them trees be hanging in the tree. I mean, those ticks be hanging in the tree. I fall on your shirt, and next thing you know, down the yarn. Um, oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Just cut right in front of me. Mmm. Big old hombre. Big old hombre. He, he, he running like a mash box. He, all bad out of hell. Come on, Chief. Work it out. Work it out. Work it out. He just... I'm not going to help y'all this morning. I know where you went. Y'all going to have to work it out. Gonna have to work it out. These hounds. <laughs> Somebody got it. Somebody got it. Overshooting it, overshooting it, overshooting it, overshooting it. Come on, bring it online, bring it online. Bring it online. Hell, I got all day. Y'all better get it right. Let's go. Get it right, get it right. Somebody get it right. Somebody get it right, Fancy. <clears throat> get it right. Get it right. Whoop! Get over here. Somebody overshooting the line. Let's go. Get him right, Chief. Get him right. Get him right. Get him right. Get him right, Fancy. Whoop! Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up.
got some hell of a teeth there. That'd be a move. Little phone beagle, Louisiana beagle man. Little phone beagle, Louisiana beagle man. Ha! Say it again. Chief crying like a baby, oh, crying like a baby. <clears throat> I love him, old Chief man. He's the biggest one in the pack. Bro. Them cotton tail, them cotton tail give him a challenge sometime. But I tell you what, he can whoop up over on the swamp rabbit like Mike Tyson. He, you put him on a swamp rabbit, I tell you what. He, he can go all day the next day, day after that, and, and, and keep on going. He will whip up on a swamp rabbit. He done ran swamp rabbit in Texarkana, Texas, uh, Louisiana, and uh, hope to get a few more in this year, right at four years old. Chief, my man, Chief. All these hounds... In my pack, it's got swamp rabbit under their belt. I like to, I like to say my hounds are swamp rabbit qualified. I don't believe a hound is certified and qualified until he can run a swamp rabbit. Swamp rabbit is qu quite different than running uh, a, a, a cottontail, and, uh, and and that's why every every pack I have, I make it a point to get them in the swamp sometime in their life and let them run swamp rabbits. And I tell you, you put a pack on a swamp rabbit and bring him back and run him on cottontail, boy, and I tell you what, he'll show you some stuff. He'll show you some stuff. Ha! Say it again. Beagle man. Louisiana Beagle man. Love y'all. They got him moving again. Got him moving again. Mm-hmm. They caught him sitting, put a straight line on him. He put a straight line on him. He don't want to do that. He don't want to do that, Mr. Cottontail. You want to put a little zigzag in your run. They'll wear you out running straight line. Sound like I got a split or I got a pup that can't keep up. I guess it's that old, that old cotton tail gonna come right up this side if he's still moving in this direction. <clears throat> that be fancy. Chiming in. That's so fancy, girl. I'm trying to get her back in shape. She had a little old pup and had to get fixed. Haven't been the same since. So hopefully she can come around. She sure cost me a lot of money. There you go. There you go right there. Yep, I knew he was going to come out right there. 
coming out right there, sneaking back to the old field. That's where he would have died at if I was hunting right there. That would have been his last jump. I would have pootie tang him right there. Say it again. Battery getting low on my on my hero. I just thank God this morning that I'm able to get out here and work my dogs. Twenty six years in the United States Army, two time in combat. I tell you, the only thing I look forward to is my family and my dogs and getting out here and enjoying myself. And I know some of y'all just like me. Say it again. We's and a bigger man. We's and a bigger man talking to you this morning. Somebody got the right trail. All right. That'd be Apollo. That'd be Apollo. That'd be Apollo.